hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this session day and swing trading for profit this in this particular session uh, I'm going to be focusing on how to train your brain for pattern recognition and a, another very important subject how to stay focused when you are trading as day traders at times we may be idle for an hour or two waiting for the setup and as you know we want the trade to come to us rather than us chasing the chart the, the trade and that's perhaps one of the greatest challenges for us as traders is that as humans we tend to want to chase things where we're hunters in this particular case we need to sit back and wait for the trade to come to us so I'm going to be showing you and discussing a couple of ideas for you now it also leads into the little statement down here I've got from Aristotle we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is an act but and habit a habit so some of the ideas that I give you here uh, I'd recommend that you do them daily do them every time you trade develop uh, the habit of marking up your charts which is a big part of what we're going to be discussing today now on to the next slide now as we uh, go into this slide uh, as always uh, my videos are all real and unedited uh, I may jump around a little bit but it's very very important that you approach watching really any training video or it's really comes down to reading any blog or a book on trading or anything in life to and asking ourselves what can I learn from this how can I use this and even for the experienced traders I know I'll be going through some very basic things with you uh, however just that one idea may change your trading results and as always take notes if you're new to my channel uh, you may not have seen one of these slides here but over the years I've been taking comprehensive notes I've been day trading now for 25 years and I have uh, I think at last count 32 of these spiral books here full of notes as I trade I take notes every day and I learn something every single day I promise you I learn something or when I go back and review my notes in these books and that's a whole idea here it may remind me of something that I've forgotten because there are lots of little things when it comes to trading and I become particularly uh, inspired when I read biographies on say like um, the Pitbull Marty Swartz and other great traders who are worth hundreds of millions of dollars and when you read about these guys what you discover and ladies people like Linda Rasky of course sorry Linda not not forgetting you is that they take notes they review they have their rules up on the walls um, uh, Marty at one stage in, in uh, an article wrote he has them handwritten and up on the wall in front of him just to review so trade is very very important we develop the habit of doing this extremely important now we've all heard of this statement I trade what I see not what I think or trade what you see not what you think now uh, in that with this that's easy to say but hard to do in other words it's very easy to make a, a blase statement when it comes to trading but of course the more evidence that you have that a pattern that perhaps you're about to trade is legitimate that is the easier it is to actually press the button to uh, to, to take the trade evidence defeats disbelief now how do we develop a belief we develop that through evidence and over a period of time so some of what we're going to be discussing here is how to really develop that evidence and how to develop and enforce our beliefs that we have when it comes to trading so as you can see we've got a number of things we're going to be covering in this uh, video uh, as always I do need to put up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, if you haven't read this disclaimer traders please pause the video and read the disclaimer very quick advertisement if you haven't uh, obtained one of my training manuals please download uh, click on the download link below or visit my website uh, where I've got two different manuals I've got a, a general training manual and I also have a manual the truth about day trading and of course if you haven't subscribed don't worry traders my ads nearly over <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, please do and once again for $197 with there is no upsell there is no upsell you get my indicators my manuals my setups there's over 300 videos there's uh, and someone recently mentioned that uh, my Google Drive my training resources area is like a gold mine end of ad let's move on so 
let's get into this Elon Musk once said I think it's possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary traders you can become extraordinary when it comes to trading but you do need to roll up your sleeves and put the week the, the, the work into it and that's perhaps one of the greatest challenges that I have in dealing with hundreds of traders I've got over 2,000 members now and a lot of traders they join my program or buy someone's course and whatever and they expect it to be a, a walk in the park yes trading actually is easy the setups are easy so traders sometimes say to me well look if it's so easy why don't or why doesn't everyone make make money well the simple reason traders the easy things are also easy not to do so really it's about developing the right habit now where I want to take you in helping you master as your coach in helping you master the art of day trading is this uh, for members watching this I've actually just uploaded today into the members area it's under new recordings and new downloads it's in that folder I've actually uploaded the PDF of this book which I got openly off the internet so anyone can go and Google this for Malcolm's book called blink now some may think well how is this uh, book relevant to us as day and swing traders well I think a key point out of this book traders is this our best decisions are made many times are made many times uh, and actually I've made <laughs> repeated a word there let me uh, many many times made um, uh, that is right sorry I'm getting myself confused here our best decisions are many times made in a blink of an eye and uh, we want to as traders develop what we call reflex action that is we see a trade set up we know it works uh, we've got the statistics on our side and of course we pull the trigger we make the trade and traders on I'm just doing in the middle of a trade now I'm just going to pause this I just I'll show you this trade in a moment it was too late I was about to go to break even it was uh, six ticks on CL we'll have a quick look at it uh, in a moment and uh, just five contracts so not a big trade but five contracts on CL and uh, I had it going at the same time it was quite slow I'm, I'm recording this during the Globex session and it was the high of the day it ticked up plus five ticks and it was time to go to break even plus one so I was about to do that and it was filled which is which is good anyway so look the, the power of thinking without thinking that is learning to and, and mastering our setups in a blink of an eye and you've heard me talk about this a great deal is you really want to master only two or three setups before you move on you want to own those setups it's very very easy to confuse ourselves as new traders and so really that's a little bit of what we're about to cover and talk about so let's just go back to this here so getting back to the point here I'm going to quickly show you some charts in a moment I want you to get in the habit of marking up your charts as you trade I've got uh, literally there are hundreds and I'll be surprised if I don't have in the thousands of charts now uh, going back uh, some of them are going back 20 years where I'll go back and marked up a chart and I then put them in a folder and I call the folders charts to study and uh, some of these ones here one of these ones these are going back to uh, 2015 just one of the folders there and so I want you to I want to encourage you to do this because there's a number of things that we really want to do first of all if we look at this chart here and this is a very recent one speed uh, sweet spot trading note the ATR I've marked up various trades so what we do is we start to mark up what I call the good the bad and the ugly now this does a number of things traders as we're trading that is it starts to one that keeps us busy okay secondly with the checklist of things I'm going to be recommending that you mark up on your charts and for members I've put the the word document of this slide in the members area so you can go to the members area and um, uh, really you can use that word document to put your own list together if you don't already have one and so um, by marking up these charts here you can for an example here we've got the ascending and descending triangles which I absolutely love and one of the points we want to have here by the way traders is a minimum of three touches which is we had way in excess of that and that was a $100 move so 
by marking up these patterns as you see them it starts to make you more alert to uh, or for pattern recognition okay now of course we see a, a breakdown of a short side here that isn't always the case and quite often we'll see it'll run to the upside but what it does it starts to uh, what's the word for it um, uh, make us more alert it, it improves our pattern recognition skills but also it keeps us constructively thinking as we trade for an example here we didn't have a break to the short side but we had a break to the upside and when you actually uh, look at these triangles or uh, descending or ascending triangles it's like price action here is coiling by the way and then finally you're going to get a good breakout and so what you're doing as you're marking your charts up as you trade and as I mentioned the good the bad and the ugly that is the good stuff uh, as you trade you can go back on a regular basis and review them and I highly recommend you do that so traders what it does it gives you an edge in your trading now we know that to succeed as traders we need an edge the edge is pattern recognition virtually everything I teach in a day traders fast track program are patterns that appear on all markets and, and all time frames geometric patterns that appear every day and of course most patterns uh, are what we call fractal in nature that is what appears on a tick chart will appear on a Renko or a time based chart but what we've got to do is keep ourselves busy and we've got to teach ourselves so that in a uh, by reflex action in a blink of an eye we recognize these patterns but it does a number of other things it also keeps us focused whilst we're trading so what's our edge your edge is going to be you're going to mark become a master at trading patterns or recognizing the patterns patterns repeat themselves in the markets each and every day um, day and swing traders can gain an edge over the majority of traders by learning to recognize these patterns which most times turn into valid valid setups in a blink of an eye that is um, if you'll say trading in a number of markets you need to be able to visually recognize a pattern very quickly because sometimes they set up very quickly so how do we train our brain to do this in a blink of an eye in a blink of an eye we can look at a chart and I actually say to members that if you're spending three or four minutes looking at a chart looking for a pattern or looking for a trade it's not there it should jump right out at you so how do we also stay focused when we're trading well we do that by having a checklist of things that we're going to be marking up on our charts now I showed you a couple of charts that have been marked up now I would recommend if you're a newer trader or if you or if you're not profitable as a trader yet that you apply a lot more to your charts than what I do that is uh, and we'll look at that some of those key points or some of what I recommend you mark up in a moment now another reason you want to be actively marking up your charts it, it makes it easy to do a count of your strategy results at the end of each day that is is say if you're looking at your t2 your slingshot trades if you've got your t2 marked up on say the indicator on the your, your stochastic t2 is marked up you can go back and do a quick count at the end of each day it just makes trading a lot easier to do that also when you've got a trading idea uh, you mark them up as you see them appear on the charts and after a period of time when you go back at the end of each week and review your snapshots or you, you review the trade stats it just makes it a lot easier uh, actually I just thought of something here let me just get so I'll just show you this as I was just talking here I just thought of something here uh, that is just um, uh, which I use this is uh, something for myself personally and just as I was talking about this this is what I use uh, so the market for time frame and the date so as I mark up a trade if it's relevant to me I can then go back and just do a quick count how many rule of ones the t2s t7s the t9s t10s 34 b's 89s the t20s t19s so my divergence trades so it just allows me to do a quick count now I'm just giving you ideas here so find something that works for you but what I want to do is to encourage you that you take comprehensive notes 
and that is the notes oh, I may as well quickly flick that back up again so traders this is what I've put uh, in the members area these are uh, everything that's on the slides I'm showing you you can download this as a word document make it your own uh, so getting back to this so how do we keep keep up with trading ideas of course in our journals uh, but by uh, typing notes on the charts now also uh, open as I mentioned earlier actually already spoke about this open a charts to study folder very very important so here are some of the things that I'm going to recommend that you consider particularly if you are not a profitable trader as yet okay you want to really fully understand how channels and ascending de descending triangles work now remember with uh, ascending uh, with really with channels uh, and triangles you want to have at least a three touch rule I want to really see three touches on the channel or on these triangles you want to mark in your bull and bear flags of course bull and bear flags only work in strong trending markets so if you mark them up but you can see what you're doing here well hopefully I can um, get you to do this because you'll start to develop the habit of noticing these patterns when you mark them up you can also start to develop a trust in how reliable a lot of these patterns are so when you have these patterns appear what you then do is you're using one of our standard entry techniques such as say a t2 so if you've say got an ascending uh, triangle then you have a t2 or a t1 or a rule of one set up it just uh, it clarifies or proves up that pattern uh, apply trend lines many traders would use fractals um, uh, set up and mark in your micro trend lines just start uh, to quickly show you this and I may as well just start uh, quickly for an example uh, if you're new to my uh, channel or new to my form of trading uh, a fractal point in there's one just here let me just mark this up for you so see that little dot there that dot there there's a dot there 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 here there's one here uh, there's one there there's one here a little hard to see there's one here these are fractal points and of course Bill Williams made fractal points quite famous and he's written um, a number of books uh, one's called Profitunity which is also the name of his company uh, Trading Chaos and I like to draw trend lines using fractal points so if you take that point there to that point there for a trend line break I found that a fractal to fractal trend line break just makes it uh, mathematically more reliable so if we was to take this point here here's another fractal point uh, I get a more I get a higher one right there so I extend my point here so when I get a close under there I've had one two three four touches of this trend line and finally I get a break okay I just like that's just a personal rule something I like to use over here I've got you I'm going off the screen here I've got uh, a point here point here so there's my trend line break and what I've just done trade is I while I'm on this screen here I just thought I'd show you that CL trade I was in that I was about to madly go to break even um, and I actually got in this trade uh, a little bit late and this is a classic example of where I'm marking up these charts and this is for uh, just for my own uh, commentary here that is I had um, what we call a t19 divergence trade here higher uh, higher high on price nice divergence and it come off it was a nice winner but I also had what we call a rule of one entry now rule of one entries particularly on Renko right you'll get a lot of these uh, after a divergence trade on the way down but they're quite often a false entry so here my comment was wait for the ATR when coming off divergence to avoid these false signals and I marked up down here yes so my entry where traditionally I would have had an entry on this candle and actually it would have been my answer my entry would have been on the next candle but anyway um, but the point was my ATR did not confirm the entry and down here I had a 89200B here and my entry would have been on this second candle but because I was waiting for the ATR my entry actually wouldn't have been until this candle here but what it would have done is just kept me out of this losing trade now 
just why I'm on this and I know uh, we all love tips and ideas so we can see the blue line which is my trigger line if I was trailing uh, uh, my stop the trigger line trading Renko makes a great line here to be trailing you can see we still would have been in this trade so you can actually use either the trigger line or the ATR now if you don't have an ATR uh, you can be using a parabolic stop uh, you can use a form of uh, moving averages etc now by the way uh, just to remind you it is uh, the uh, during a globic session so we are looking at a Renko uh, two tick custom Renko so there's still already been some uh, nice little uh, trades I've only just fired off one this morning because I was preparing the PowerPoint but I saw this and I just couldn't help myself jumping in on this trade but let's get back to the PowerPoint now I warned you we're going to jump around but hopefully giving you ideas now if I'm uh, throwing so much stuff at you go back and just replay the video and hopefully you're taking some some notes from this uh, trend line so I like to use fractal now I will go back to that because uh, I've had a lot of questions what is a micro trend line a micro trend line is one here a micro trend line is a much smaller trend line and that is where you see price action falls it comes up okay and then it falls again that's a very small uh, trend line that's what I call a micro trend line um, look you could almost call that one there uh, let me just show you um, where are we here I'm just trying to find a, a micro trend line for your traders um, look you could call this a micro trend line so you've got a number of touch points here so it's just a much smaller uh, trend line and I like to draw micro trend lines when I'm trading with the trend okay so I could have drawn one from there to there by the way that would have been a break so just I know hopefully it didn't confuse you but that's what a micro trend line is now what you can also do to keep busy and but also to train yourself is your fib retracements so draw in a 38 50 61 and of course you're hundred percent quite often when we get a hundred percent pullback we're going to get a change in market direction but become used to drawing in your fib retracements many traders will only take a retracement trade if they've got a 50% pullback I think you're going to find you'll miss out a lot of really good trend trades if you do that but anyway the point is here mark in your fib retracements also as you have a setup mark in your indicator setups now that is in your lower windows if we just look at this here uh, we've got here um, well let me just see right here I had a t2 so mark it in so as you get various uh, setups on your indicators um, look this is classic here this is a 2d okay mark it in it makes it very very easy to go back at the end of each day and to review your trade setups uh, what have we got here areas of consolidation and chop now when you see uh, your EMAs is starting to whatever if you're assuming you use moving averages when you start to see price action consolidate EMAs become intertwined etc draw in a box you can use your fractals for an example because what we know is virtually every time you have an area of consolidation you're going to have a great breakout and so I've done a number of videos for members on trading consolidation or what to be aware of and quite often and you'll hear me repeat many times that quite often I'll have two losing trades in an area of consolidation then what I'll do is I'll sit it out and wait for a breakout but when you do get a breakout quite often you get a fantastic move so when you're going into consolidation don't be afraid of it mark them up you want to know because uh, that you've got an area of consolidation or chop because quite often you'll get a really good move straight after that so get ready for that breakout and sorry about my squeaky chair there I actually have what we call a standing desk so sometimes I'll sit down but uh, and jump back up but uh, something I'd recommend as day traders you consider having a desk that you stand at and just use a draftsman's chair which is just when you want to sit down it's much higher anyway uh, another thing you want to be marking on your charts is uh, is um, waves one two and three and four and five just remember that uh, after you're getting three waves you're probably getting closer to a potential market turn so when you've got these waves okay and for an example Linda Raskin a book uh, one of the books and I uh, just can't 
think of it right now a uh, street smarts that's it she talks about a setup she calls three little Indians it's after three waves you're more likely to get a turn so when you're marking these up it just makes it easier uh, to remember to be looking for these uh, a t10 uh, sorry a t20 um, for members you know that a t20 identifies uh, a successful a t20 in most cases will identify a new trend and a t20-1 is the first trade uh, first trend trade after a t20 uh, you want to be marking those up because the earlier you enter a trade once the new trend is identified these are the ones you can get some really good runners with so you it's very very important you want to mark up when you've got a sweet spot now as a reminder traders and uh, I'll tell non-members this a sweet spot is where you have all of your EMAs confirming the trend now if we look at this here on my anchor chart over here okay uh, we can see here that my EMAs are what we call fanning out and I've got a fanning of the EMAs here on my entry chart if I go um, uh, and by the way if, if I also use tick charts I just don't use Renko I just thought I'd show uh, members this that um, and non members that you might be using a tick chart now just one thing I will say we are in the globex session during the globex session on if you're going to use a tick, tick chart you may consider using an 89 tick rather than a 233 because uh, a 233 generally speaking is just a little slow for an example the market uh, the globex session has been open three hours and this is three hours of trading uh, action where on our Renko there's been four or five really good trading opportunities where there's just been a couple on a 233 tick so you want to change your time frames so uh, the point was just getting back to this here was to make sure that it is to type that in so what I'd be typing in here uh, if I was new or until you get used to recognizing this as a pattern type in sweet spot okay sweet spot means you've got a fanning here and you've got a fanning there getting back oops here we've got um, uh, marking when you've got higher highs and higher lows which means what I've got an uptrend or well, marking you're getting lower lows with lower highs I'm in a downtrend uh, if you remember you're going to be typing if you've got a t1 a t2 a t7 uh, with trend or counter trend a rule of one a rule of two a t10 t19 or a v trade type it in as you're trading it then makes it very easy for you to go back and to do a count another little thing that I just want to show you is this and this is very common uh, dealing with hundreds now of, of full-time traders as well it's something that I've got them all on and staying focused is this is you can go online and you can get a countdown clock because a lot of people have trouble and hopefully this comes up uh, on the recording uh, so you can this one for me is set to 30 minutes when you're doing research and development work or going back and doing stats uh, it's very easy because it's boring to get distracted so what just set a rule of making it maybe 15 minutes or 30 minutes works for me that if I'm doing R&D work or if say if I've got a type up or I'm answering emails or whatever the the boring thing may be I turn the timer on okay and it means then for the next 30 minutes I've got to be 100 and 10% focused on that project all right just a little tip that I'd recommend you consider is go online just get the countdown timer there's a whole lot of different types of one it just makes makes it easier and staying focused uh, the maximum move you've achieved now going back to this chart here uh, this trade here now that was only six ticks now here you can see I easily would have been able to achieve 12 ticks now what you can't see is a trade book I've got down here separately where I keep this manually in a separate trade book but mark it up on your charts because it keeps you busy and so we can actually see here we still using the trigger line would be in this trade we haven't got a clear close under the trigger line and even my ATR is keeping me in at this stage all right now uh, we 
notice here this yellow line here by the way is our floor pivot uh, I can tell you now we will we're about to get a turning point uh, and for members here is a 1d setting up okay so you've got a 1d setting up as well so I would be I have to admit if I was trailing here I would be taking profits right now before I even get a close because this has been a great and by the way when you're getting 12 15 ticks in a move if you're after say $300 a day per contract you just need two of those uh, in a day and you're there so uh, and just on that point traders if you're trading multiple contracts it's always nice to take a number of contracts off at a fixed target move to break even and let the others run but that's a, another topic that we cover <laughs> separately back to the PowerPoint okay uh, so the maximum move you would have achieved plus the ideal stop now if you're in a fast moving market you may discover that you need to have larger stops if you're say and let's go back to this chart again if you're say using an ATR you may find that rather than tucking your stop under your closest swing low or above your swing high you may have to just tuck it one tick under your ATR stop and flip or under your parabolic um, uh, stop and reverse now what you'll usually find is then is your stop maybe one or two ticks smaller something for you to think about just wanted to throw that in now marking your pivot bounces uh, uh, when you've got angulation or divergence double tops double bottom mark them up is there any other patterns anything else that you'd also uh, want to mark up on your charts now as I mentioned uh, and, and traders there is a checklist uh, which or the keep these I should, sorry let me take that back I put these on a, um, a word document so you can go and adjust but of course in the members area and as members you know I've got extensive trade checklists now if something else I just want to show you on this point if you remember watching this you've seen this slide many times uh, if you're a new trader or trading hasn't been kind up to you or maybe you're just looking at joining us this is what I recommend get plastic sleeve folders uh, type up the lists that work for you and this is exactly what I have in front of me so I'll have a couple of folders that I can easily flip uh, just with trading patterns now as I'm trading I'll just be looking at the charts and I'll be flipping these and just reviewing patterns okay so as a visual reminder my rules and any highlighted points are there so I can be flipping have all my rules for an example uh, I'll have down here do I have a t1 do I have a t2 do I have a rule of one and I'm just constantly reminding myself and of course I'm taking notes okay so as I'm trading and I've uh, rule I've got a column rule down one side so if there's anything special I'll highlight it and so I'm taking notes as I trade that's how I do it now I know for a lot of uh, experienced traders this is really basic stuff but if you get one idea that's what these training sessions are really are all about it's just giving you that one idea that may make a difference when it comes to trading so traders in finishing off this video I want you to mark up your charts because it's going to help you uh, sharpen your skills when it comes to pattern recognition marking your trend lines marking your fractal breaks marking when you're in a period of an era of consolidation it keeps you sharp it keeps you focused and it stops your mind from wandering as much which then leads to boredom which quite often means uh, leads to looking for trades that aren't even there but also it's going to allow you to keep your stats because when you've got accurate trading stats it gives you a lot more confidence as traders now for an example yesterday on CL let me just uh, quickly go back to yesterday there were uh, um, the way I was trading there were 18 trade 18 setups and uh, only three losses during the globex session okay when you start getting those uh, and by the way traders that was for a pivot bounce an 89b rule of one t19 34b 34b t2 rule of one 2d t10 t10 t7 1d 80 when you keep your, your stats like that and the trade setups etc 
all right it keeps you focus but it gives you so much more confidence as traders so as we close off traders if you're not already a member for $197 you get uh, all of my resources all of my setups uh, as I mentioned it's actually 300 videos no you don't have to watch them all uh, they're all labeled and uh, and there's now I think about 15 different setups that I teach you you focus on a couple I tell you which ones to focus on and you build from there so traders and members uh, just as a reminder the book link is now in the members area thank you traders